Hello. Welcome to BlueShift. Let us have a quick look at how to backtest a trading strategy and take it live on BlueShift. Let's start by logging in. You can enter your registered email and password in these fields, or you can choose to go with your Google account or Quantinsty account to log in. Once we log in, we land up in the workspace. This is where we save all our work. Here are some ready-made strategies you can choose from. Let's create a new strategy. I'll go ahead and choose the buy and hold, in NYSE. And name it too. Remember, the name must be a valid Python module name. Click on Create Strategy. We are at the Code Editor. This is the console where we can code our strategy, of any complexity. Let me remove this template strategy, and let's write one from scratch. In this strategy, we will be rebalancing our portfolio every minute. Every strategy code on BlueShift has an initialize function. This function is the first single shot code that runs when a strategy is executed. An initialize function takes in a context variable as input. Context stores all miscellaneous variables that need to be used across the strategy at subsequent time steps. We need to define symbols or tickers we might want to use in our strategy. Let's have a look at how we might be able to do it in the docs. This has been covered in the fetch assets section. As shown, the function symbol takes in as input a valid symbol name string and returns an asset object associated with the ticker. Let's go ahead and use this. Let's pass the Amazon ticker symbol into this function. Also, let's go ahead and add a few more. This can all be put in a list. We'll call it port F. Let's add more tickers. Apple, Walmart, Micron Technology, Bank of America, Coca-Cola, Boeing Aerospace, and we can make this a Python list. Now this list contains our entire portfolio. Let's first import the module which has all of these functions. Import the symbol function which helps us create a list of asset objects. Let's now define the handle data function. This function is run as frequently as the bars in the data set we choose to run the back test on usually every minute. We also need to pass the context variable into this function, along with a data object, which gives us the historical and current data up till that point. We will now iterate over the asset objects in the portfolio list. This list is stored in the context variable as an attribute. Now we need to make orders to balance each of these holdings to 10% of our total portfolio value. Let's have a look at the placing trades functions of the docs. We can place a simple order for an asset for a given price using order underscore value. Similarly other such functions. But we need to use order underscore target underscore percent. Let's copy it back into the code editor. Then we pass the asset object into the function along with the percentage of the current portfolio value we want the asset to be. If the position doesn't already exist, this is equivalent to placing an order. If the position does exist, this is equivalent to placing an order for the difference between the target percent and the current percent. And this position is made to be 10% of the current portfolio value. Let's also import this function from the API. With the rebalancing defined let us go ahead and do a quick back test of the strategy. We can import the minute level NYSE data from this dropdown. We'll select the start and end dates from the calendar widgets. We also need to select default capital for back testing but here I will take the default. And the back test is done. The logs and errors appear in these panels. We can also see the standard error messages here. What we just saw was a quick back test. For a thorough full-fledged one, you can click here. The strategy can be saved by clicking on Save Strategy. Let's go live with this. BlueShift makes some changes to the code we have written, to make it ready for a live run. Some of them are mentioned in this dialog. Let's accept and continue. Here we can change settings for live trading. 
We also have the option of getting blue shift notifications on our Telegram account. Let's see what we can change here. Maximum drawdown, order limit, and size limit. Let's save, and close this. Let's go on to the next menu. Here is where we need to select a broker, to live run our strategy. I'll go ahead, and click on the add broker button. As we can see, we have two options here, one for live trading, and another one, for paper trading. Both of them operate similarly. Here it is the two same brokers. I'll go ahead, and chose Alpaca for paper trading. We need to allow our BlueShift account to access our Alpaca account. In this case, I already had one. And I'll now add this account to BlueShift as a paper trading broker service. So we now have my broker paper trading account attached to my BlueShift account. We can also see my account number on this. Let's move forward and add some capital for running our strategy. Continue. Let's have a look at the terms and conditions. Let's review all the details. All the information seems correct. Let's confirm and start. As we can see the execution is starting. The data will start streaming shortly. We can see that the execution of our portfolio rebalancing strategy has started. Within the Trades tab, we have all the trades that happened since the strategy started running. The older trades are at the bottom. The recent trades are at the top. Here we bought one Bank of America share for $34.64. And here we sold a WMT share for $116.37. We also get an update of the status of the transaction. Let's head to the dashboard. Here we have the graph of the current net value. This panel tells us about our positions. We can see our exposure for various stocks in our portfolio. The stats panel here tells us about the various parameters of our strategy like MTM, position counts etc. The top panel tells us about the day's profit and loss, cash and exposure. Now you're ready to start coding on BlueShift and take your strategy live. Come join the revolution with BlueShift.